Hello everyone and welcome to my Japanese inspired world and this relaxing long play with commentary. Today we're going to be working on setting up a sniffer seed collection system and we are also going to be uh, fixing our very uh, unesthetic mountain from when we built a dragon's temple on top of it. So we're going to terraform the side of this mountain and make it look a little bit more rounded and well just uh not have a floating square at the top of our mountain. So those are the main two projects that we're going to be working on today. So whether you're just watching this or if you're sleeping to this, studying to this, or just having it alongside you as you get some things done, I hope you enjoy this little long play session and hanging out with me today. So the first thing that we're going to be working on is actually setting up the sniffer collection system because the sniffer, the sniffers are right inside this little room here. You can kind of see them through there. So if we're going to be terraforming this mountain, I would love to be able to collect the seeds while we're working on this so that we're able to get more of them by starting with this project and then we will terraform. So. Uh, once we get to the terraforming part of it, we will need to go and collect a bunch of dirt and moss to make this mountain side look better. I did add a resource pack that does make kind of like a connective grass and texture to the blocks instead of just like a little bit of the grass showing at the top and the rest of the block being dirt. So in FreeCam, it did help the mountain a little bit, but it, it needs a, a lot of help to not just look ridiculous. So that's the one project. But first, we're going to start by setting up a sniffer seed collection system. So what we're going to do is I imagine that we're going to just dig out underneath this whole area and we're probably going to set up just like a hopper minecart system to figure out how to kind of like set this up or i could just do a bunch of hoppers themselves which would be expensive but we do have an iron farm so i'm just trying to think of what would be the easiest thing for me to do because getting the hopper minecarts to stop and unload all of the seeds that they collected from the sniffers is a little bit more redstoney than what I'm used to doing. And so I might just do the hoppers themselves and like funnel them out over here and uh, just kind of have some chests hanging out over here. But I think I first wanna see what we have underneath here. So let's just dig a little space and start digging our way down and we'll just see what we end up with underneath here. I only need it to be like one block if it's just the hoppers, which might be easier. But, I mean, the hopper minecarts is definitely going to be the easiest way to do it, just because it's less work. But what we need to do is figure out how to make sure we're going fully underneath where the sniffers are, and we're not just, like, ending up in a different area. Because I want to make sure I dig only the blocks that are underneath here. So we might do a little bit of, kind of, free cam looking to make sure I'm, like, still exactly underneath them, you know, and I'm not just like going off uh, somewhere else. So it looks like we can keep going a little bit further down this way. And I'm gonna have torches because I definitely don't want little uh, little friends spawning next to me. I, uh, I appreciate that they might wanna help me work, but I don't want their help. <laughs> okay, so this is definitely far enough. So oh, I'm in a sniffer, hello. Okay, so if I just go a little bit down. Okay, so we can go back two blocks. So we'll fill this in two blocks. I think this should be good. And then let's start going this way. We're just gonna basically create a giant box to start. Oh, hello, what are you? Oh, sure. Okay, well, we will use some of this. I was like, what is this? What am I looking at? So this moss block is the last one. So this is the last one we need to be cleared because then it goes one block over. So like so, that's part of it. And then we go one, two, oop, one, two, three over and then one back. So now we go like so and then go three 
one, two, three, and then back one. I feel like I'm following the lines correctly. Oh no, okay, right here. So I'm trying to just make sure I'm exactly following the line of this. So then we have one, two, these sniffers. We have one, two, three, four. So just two more down in this space here. Oh, hi guys. Um, you you stay there, okay? Yep, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Don't want. Oh my gosh, their noises are so funny. They always sound like they're a little bit sad. Does anyone else kind of notice that? All right, and then we can just go like so. I think I can open this. Yes. Okay. For some reason, I thought because I put dirt here that I was going to end up accidentally like opening up to where the sniffers are and I really don't want to deal with getting a sniffer down here somehow because that would be uh not as ideal to say the least but having this project done is going to be so nice because then we can actually start farming more of the seeds because right now I'm just occasionally grabbing the seeds when I happen to be checking on my sniffers. So it's not like I'm actually like working on getting this like fully set up, getting all of the seeds and all of that. Oh. Uh, if anybody knows the show Star Wars, the sniffers, one of the noises that they make reminds me of Chewbacca a little bit. Like, it's different, it's a different sound, but it just sounds like a baby Chewbacca noise. Uh, they just made it a little bit ago, which made me think of it, but it's just so funny. Like, the noises that they make sometimes just, just makes me laugh a little bit. I think the noises that Minecraft adds into the game are just so fun sometimes. And like, how they pick them. Ooh, this, yep, don't need that, okay. Well, we don't have to worry about water being where they're going to be a collecting things okay so uh, this will be a hopper so that should be fine once we get there but let's uh bring this down oh i didn't even know i had this area oh goodness yeah we're gonna make sure this is all lit up so that we don't get some spooky things in here we'll also light up this corner but i believe yeah, this is pretty much like the end of it. If this is... So if I just cover this up, this should be fine. Like so. I don't think we need anything more here. Okay, so this is water. So they don't need the water block. So we'll leave this alone. Yep, water. Yep. No, my torches. See, when you're near water, I recommend putting the torches on the wall because then you'll never have to deal with the, the water picking them up. Okay, so if we go right here, then we need to make sure, oh, see? And even while we're working in here, like we're gonna find seeds along the way, which is really nice. Okay, so let's plant our seeds. Oh, we've got two. Oh, we've got three. Yay. Okay. We'll plant you guys. And then we'll plant you. Hi, bud. Hello. Any more seeds I can check for? But we've got a fully grown little flower. I love these pitcher plants. It's already really cool that we get them. But the fact that they can also become like cyan dye and different things is also really fun. Okay, perfect. So... I'm trying to think of how far out they would go. So if I do this and use this temporarily, then I kind of know where to go to. They're not really gonna get over here with the seeds. So let's just go like so. And then I'm using the stone as temporary markers. We will replace it with the cozy, the cozy stone, but that just lets me know like where to kind of like expand this because now I know I can go a little bit further down this direction right obviously not right here because this is a, a block actually this could be an open one the next one would be a block like that because this is where the mushroom is so we've got the stone and the mushroom so then this goes from here 
one, two, three, four, and five. So we're going from here, one, two, three, four, and five. So we'll go like so, and then we have our bed, which we'll, we'll keep there. We won't really need them to uh, be worrying about going and trying to collect seeds where our bed is. But we're just gonna kind of keep doing this around the area. I feel like in the end, uh, the hopper minecart system will work a lot more efficiently than like a bajillion hoppers because that, that would be very, very expensive. Um, the only time I've done the redstone with the little like hopper minecarts that like releases them is with my bamboo farm. So I might have to go and look at the bamboo farm to see how I set that up because I honestly just follow the tutorial because I'm a little bit clueless when it comes to those types of farm things. Um, I do want to improve my redstone abilities, but it does take time, so not really trying to, to rush it too much. Okay, so I think this, yeah, this is right where we want to be, so we'll go like so, and then... We're almost to the soil, so it's just a few more over, so this can be open. Oh, I can hear him sniffing around. <laughs> it's so funny that I'm like underneath them and they're just like trying to sniff around. I feel like they're trying to like find me. Like, where is she? I can hear her. Where'd she go? <laughs> it's kind of funny to me. <laughs> okay. And we need to put our little guy back. I will just use a stone just in case I uh, accidentally flood this area. Okay. So far so good. Okay, so, yep, there's the water. Okay, so then that is the water. So this area, this one block. This one block stays. I'm pretty sure this one block stays as well. Yep. So this is the edge. So we'll go two more this way. All right, I think we're getting close to having this all kind of carved out under here, which feels really good. Oh, we've got a flapper. He's splutin'. He's got a seed. I love how they sploot so much. It's literally just so cute. Okay. So this is the last one. Right now, I am even under this one. So we'll go one more and then three and then three again. So this is one more. This is three, and then three again. Oh, hi. Hello, guys. Okay. Bye-bye, guys. Okay, so this, I think, should be our full shape. I think we got it. Um, oh, no, this side needs a lot more. Okay. So, this is the water. So, we uh, keep that there. Okay, that was the stone. Okay, this is good. And I think this is the only last little spot that we needed to have like dug out. So this this feels good. I'm I'm excited for this. This feels like we got everything dug out that we needed to, so that's always good. And then this doesn't need to be there, because this is just two and two. This is, yeah. Okay, perfect. And I did accidentally pick up some of the drip leaves. But this is what we have for the little space. So I'm just going to make sure. Yep, okay, perfect. So this we'll uh, put here, put there. Okay, sweet. So this we can move. And then we'll add our moss back in up top here. 
Hi guys, don't mind me, excuse me. I'm just trying to put your stuff back, how it was cute and cozy. Oh, thank you for the seed, I appreciate it. We're just gonna try growing a bunch of these while we can. And we'll put our big drip leaf back inside their little cozy ponds. There we go, just like so. And uh, no other seeds to collect in here, which is just fine by me. But if we stand here, okay, we, we go up a block. I feel like this is good. I think we got it. So let's go see what we have for different resources. I'm going to kind of cover this up again. I want to have a way down, but I also need to get out of here. <laughs> okay, I'll go like so and like that. Okay, perfect. And I don't want anything spawning, so we're going to go like so. And this is where the bed is, so that can stay. I feel like th it's just going to be weird. So I think for some of this, we'll have some hoppers. What we might do is, since this is like a much larger area, it's going to be easier for the hopper system to get the ones that are kind of like in a large, more like square. And then we might make the other ones more just like hopper collection system because we won't need to have the hopper working for all of them i want it to work for oh there's an enderman i was like hello what are you i want the the hoppers to be working for the majority of them but if it doesn't work for all of them like i i, I understand that you know it's a little bit of a funky shape to try to work but i'm gonna try to collect a bunch of wood types so that we can use that and this chest was empty so i'm gonna take this little one and we're going to kind of just set up a little system little spot in here so let's first start by getting a crafting table over here as well i feel like that's always a good part of getting things sorted we'll start collecting a bunch of wood i feel like collecting jungle wood is going to be the best because i mean that we honestly live in a a bamboo jungle so we have the most of that so it should work well for us and now we just need to collect a bunch of mine mine i always call them mine rails it's a it's just like rails i think we literally just call them rails <laughs> but i keep saying mine rails which is kind of silly but we're gonna get a bunch of the rails and we will need some powered rails if we're gonna do this correctly we do have a bunch of iron, so we should be good. I just need to remember... Okay. This is where I had them. Um, I think we just need a bunch of the iron next. So we'll go like so. And we'll make some mine carts. We'll make five. If we have any hoppers in here, I'll take them. Oh, good. We had a bunch of rails in here. Perfect. All right, and then I think for the powered rails, I need gold and redstone. So, wow, I have like zero gold, my goodness. I definitely thought I had more gold than that, but it was gold and redstone that we were collecting. That's literally like crazy that I have that few gold. So interesting okay we might use more hoppers than we originally thought about um i did start moving my wood stash over to my main storage room but i think we're also going to try to uh just mine some wood for this project that will probably be the easiest thing to do is just get a bunch of jungle trees and chop them down to get stuff we also can use uh, a bunch of our Let's see where I put wood, jungle wood. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm trying to think where else I would have put gold. Because I don't have a lot of options. But I think I put redstone in here. Yeah, we've got redstone. So let me just put away this tiny bit of moss that I had. Sometimes I don't know why I like have the blocks in my inventory that I do. Okay. So we've got those, but we will probably need to go looking for gold, which is a funny thing, but at the same time, you know, when, when you need it, you need it. And we definitely need it. Um, 
I know that we can collect gold in the nether, but that's not really like a super cozy experience. So I was thinking to try to avoid that, but we'll see if we end up doing that. I'm going to also try to see if I have any jungle saplings in here. Okay, we do. Perfect. And bone meal. Let's actually grab some bone blocks. I think that'll be better. And then we'll just go bring over what we have set up our hopper mine carts i don't think i'll need five mine carts honestly i think i went a little bit overboard but we'll see we'll see how this works um yeah i'm very curious to see how we can make this work okay so we'll put all the mine carts in here and we'll put the wood in here like so and let's actually pull out some of the iron from these iron blocks and uh, we need some wood so let's convert this jungle wood we'll make some chests and then we can make a bunch of hoppers a bunch we can make a seven hoppers <laughs> ay 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 this does not go very far Okay, now we've got more hoppers. Even if I don't end up using all these hoppers, I'm honestly okay with that. Just having the hoppers is also just huge. So we've got that. I think we need a bone meal more trees. But I'm curious if I can set this up a certain way. So let's kind of like process this together, okay? So this is a very weird shape. Now, if I'm going to set up a rail cart system, let me just grab a mine cart. Let's grab a hopper, let's grab a mine cart and some rails and we'll combine these because I'm pretty sure I will need this to be lifted up by a block to make this like actually work. So if this goes here, this is how high we need to have the collection system but i need it to go back and forth in just like lines and so this part of it will not work if i want it to just go in proper lines because i'd need to make some really funky shapes to get it to work but i need to make sure that i collect all of the seeds so what we might do is if we just have kind of like this area here be our like main collection system corners we might go like this i'm trying to like figure out what makes the most sense for the shape that we have here right so if this goes onto this wall and this is the shape then this could be where our collection system goes to but then like this wall so we need to move this over one block so then everything in between here would be picked up by the hopper mine carts but then we still have these other guys that need to kind of just be collected so this is still a ton of hoppers to set up but maybe i can make the shape work differently um, let's just take a bunch of our rails right now and just see how we can make this work. Because we have a lot of rails right now and we can make a ton more sticks because we have our bamboo farm. But it's really just figuring out how to make this work the best that we can make it work. So if I just go here. Like so. And then we'll turn this. I don't want that okay um let's first make this go like that okay that way this can go over here okay oh this got a little bit crazy okay so if this goes here Honestly, we could see about starting it in this corner, because if this goes... Let's uh, remove this one really quickly. No, not like that. No, thank you. 
Yeah, see these corners don't exactly work. Unless we're gonna like make funky shapes like that. So yeah, this doesn't work as well. It needs to be a pretty like evenly squared shape. So I'm okay if this little section has to be hoppers. What we'll do is we'll just like dig the hoppers behind this area and make it come like all the way over here. I also just want to create some chests really quick just so I can kind of see like where we would actually put the chests, like which location we'd stick them. So if I want, I mean, I could come into this area to get the seeds and I could honestly have like, oh, hey, another seed. Thank you. Let's put that one there. These literally look like turnips to me, and I think it's great. Oh, you are a collector. Ah, oh, I love these seeds. It's so fun. Okay, so... Oh, I forgot to switch this back into moss, but that's okay. We could have a few different collection systems inside the Sniffer Sanctuary, because it kind of gives me a reason to, like, walk inside here, because otherwise we're just kind of staying on the outside edge. So I could have a Sniffer collection system, like... One of the blocks could be here, and I can just come over to the water. I mean, didn't want to do that right now, but you get the idea. And then all of the hoppers would just connect there. Okay, let's start there. Let's get that little bit of it done first. I feel like that is good. And uh, I, need, I need some hoppers, so. We'll start in the corner, and it'll be great. Okay, so I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's water. Okay. Oh, it's nice it doesn't take that. Okay. So then this, if the sniffer moves. <laughs> okay, so the chest is there. So then everything else can funnel into this one. Oh, I'm so excited for this. This is already going to be very, very helpful. And then we'll go like so. Okay, we're already getting this figured out a little bit slowly but surely and we'll put this on the wall and hopefully it won't so i just need one two three more okay if i can at least get the corners like correctly picking everything up like i'm i feel like that's still a win honestly still a win in my book then we need to make a bunch of chests get a bunch of our iron Lots of chests, there we go. Lots of hoppers, we've got 19, plenty. Actually, more than plenty. And then we go like so, okay. So anything, oh no, I forgot, I need this. Um, hmm. Let's put some green glass there. I feel like I'm fine if I have glass. So let's go grab some green glass. And it's nice to finally have like rockets because this just makes everything so much easier. And I think I put some extra green glass in my sugarcane farm. So I made this recently. Uh, I will, in the top corner and in the description, link the video where I made this. My One of my favorite pieces is I used glass so I can see all the fishes, kind of like I'm in like an aquarium tank as I go down into our little sugarcane farm area. So I think, yes. Okay, I don't need a ton of green glass, but I will bring extra green glass in case we want to use more of this for different segments like what I'm doing. But the green glass should solve the problem that we have. I love this. This is like such a fun feature to me. It's like a little, a little bit of a aquarium, but I think it's cute. You can kind of see the glass under it, but not like a whole lot. And I'm going to stop inside our main house because we need a bed over there again. I keep on like moving <laughs> the beds that I have and then we end up, uh, yeah, just not always having a bed where we need them to be. And we'll make it green because it'll match our area. But let's take a... Okay, we can't snooze. I was going to say. We'll take a snooze before we keep moving on. Ah, I love our area. It's so pretty. I'm really happy with how this little area is turning out. It's so cozy. 
I think at some point I also like the idea of having like sky lanterns hanging above our area. I do need to make our little AFK spot look uh, prettier than that. But the glass, just using glass helped a whole lot to make it a little less just like noticeable, make it a little bit more discreet. But I love how our area looks in the evening. It's so pretty. If I go into free cam, it's one of my like favorite views to just see our area with all the builds. It's so cozy. I think it's so fun. And our path leading up to our dragon's temple. It's just, it's so pretty. I love our how our area is coming together. All of it is so, so cozy. Love it so much. But let's add the glass. This should solve our problem. And let's look at it from above, actually. I'm curious to see how this will look. Oh, I just got another seed. Okay. Ah, there we go. Oh, sweet. And we got the, the mosque. Okay, so then if I go and put that stone in there. Oh, interesting. Wait, do I have to, like, remove these things? Is that gonna, like, not pick everything up? Uh-oh. Hmm. Problem solving, because that's definitely just one block. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're making the hmm noises as well, aren't you? Well. Interesting. Okay, I thought this would work. See, you know, I don't know. Okay, y'all need to move away from where I'm working. Hello, come this way. Yes, yes. All the way over. Hello? Bruh. Can you follow me? Ichigo! Follow me! Thank you! <laughs> Yelly. Guys. Yes, yes, come huddle by me. Come huddle by me, my little children. Yes, yes. This is where I was gonna put the bed again. We'll take a little snooze. But the, the sniffers are just so curious on what I'm working on that they're just in my way. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're gonna plant that. Okay. All right, yes, sniffies. So if this isn't collecting, I don't think it's because I have these things down on it. I think there's some other reason. I think it's just the mechanics of how the minecarts work. I have a feeling if I want to collect stuff, I will need to have the hopper minecarts under it. Um, interesting. Okay. Well, we're problem solving together and it is great. You know, not everything in Minecraft, I understand. So it's something to work on and learn from. But I definitely just thought I would like be able to collect them, but maybe the full block prevents it from happening. So then we would need to figure out a different way to collect these, this area. Cause I'm pretty sure if I were to, so this block I know, is something this block i think i'm curious to test this theory but if i put a rail and a hopper minecart i feel like this will collect it which is kind of weird if that's what's going to collect the things so if i just like chuck something on here yeah see it takes it so we either need to change up our system you guys, you need to stop sniffing where I'm working. Because nothing is getting picked up. My bread isn't getting picked up. I should have kept that torch flower seed on me to move these guys. Because they're going to get a little bit in the way. But it's definitely just picking up anything. Hmm. Yeah. This could be problematic. Yeah, it picks it up. <laughs> so... The hopper minecarts being straight up and down. Because I've made wool farms before, and this setup works. <gasps> Whoa, I've never seen this from, like, underneath. <gasps> 
that was so interesting to see all the particles change. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but I definitely have not seen that be a thing where like where they're digging does that. Um, interesting. Okay, so then... Okay, gold is the thing I'm lacking the most, okay? Here's where you get to get into the mind of red and figure out the redstone stuff with her and how my mind works. So what I'm thinking is right now I am the lowest on gold and we could go on a grand adventure into the mesa, which we have a little bit near our house. We just need to go you know, through some nether portals. Uh, but we have a mesa nearby so we could go look for gold in the mesa and then create a whole like powered rail system or I literally <laughs> just set up a bunch of hopper minecarts next to each other and have all of them funnel into a chest right like those are the options that I'm thinking of so what this would look like is if I remove this what we would do is instead of having a little hopper there, we would have a mine cart, right? So we would get to move everything up a layer. So then the, the hopper would actually be down here, right? And so then we would have this be like this. So then our chest would be a little bit lower, but we'd have it like so, we'd use the rail, and have it be like this and like so now nothing's in this chest nothing's in the hopper nothing's in this hopper so this was the other option that we could go with just like a bunch of stagnant uh hopper bide carts which is probably the least ideal way i can think to do this but it will collect them so like is that worth it you know like it feels like it's a waste of materials, but I also have easy access to wood. I have an iron farm, so it's not like it would be a huge inconvenience, right? So if we just have the hopper mine carts here, they can all just like, they'll still be the hoppers like funneling, right? Like it'll still funnel just the same. We'll just have it look a little bit different and it could still work just fine. We just need to figure out how to kind of change where this will go. Uh, the other thing that we could do is set up a little redstone dropper system that's going to push all of the seeds that end up in this chest and it could push them kind of like down over here. And then we could have a little like collection system for the seeds maybe like right here instead because that could be the other option because if i just replace these guys because if these are the chests that we have or we have this still be moss we're just we're just processing right we're just thinking aloud but if i um, let's clear this out. Oops. Okay, so let's, uh, let's block that up, because I don't want these guys to see me. I'm gonna also block this off, so I know that this is, like, the other wall. Oh, let's see if I can see him digging. <gasps> Look at that! He's digging! <laughs> That's so funny to me! Okay. So... Uh, yeah, that's the Chewbacca noise, okay? If you guys know Star Wars, that's the one that reminds me... Oh, I left this open. That's the one that reminds me of Chewbacca. Hi, dude. Can you, like, come over here? Yep, come away. Yes, all of you over here. Stop sniffing where I'm trying to work. I would appreciate that. Wanna move? Do ya? You wanna sniff and move? I love these particle effects for they're like digging. Like that is just so cool to me. I'll take that. Yeah, you're all just doing your little little funny dances. Okay. So we could do that with the dropper. And that way if we want to have this could be where the chest would go, like kind of. I'm just 
you know, we're thinking aloud, we're problem solving this together. What is the easiest method? So if the, if we need to have the hopper be on this level, the chests would all be on this level. So they would be like way further down here. Which if I do it this way, that's fine. I will just need to make sure, let's close this off so I know. We're gonna run our little like ice experiment all the way down here. And then this will be the, the hopper system. And I mean, if we set this up right, we could have a little like item dropper also put them into here, possibly. We would just need to have the section where the collection system for this middle area, nice. We would need the chest to go here because then the dropper would funnel it into this one. I'm trying to like figure out the way that makes this the most condensed because this is going to be a lot of just like freestanding hopper minecarts to make this thing work, but I'm, I'm okay with it. So let's maybe just start working on the edges. So <laughs> hopper minecarts, here we come. So many, okay. And let's move these guys out of the way. I don't need all these extra guys in here right now. So let's move this. All the hopper minecarts. And then let's grab some stone. We had some stone out here or some dirt, but just whatever blocks we had over here. Let's just use some of that. Regular dirt. We'll use regular dirt. I don't want to accidentally use any of our, our cool, good things. And I'm okay if underneath it doesn't look, like, nice. Because it will be hidden. We're just figuring out how to make it look the best we can make it look. Okay. So. Let's remove all of these. And replace them which actually does help out because then we can make a bunch more of the uh okay so the hoppers now come down here and then we need the hopper mine carts and the rails so then we go like so Mmm, interesting. Okay, I don't think I want them to all... Did they all go in here? They did, okay. <laughs> so if they're all going to be here next to each other... Let's go like this. Oh no! <laughs> Okay. Not going to work. Okay. All right, yes, pick it all up, pick it all up, then give them back to me, yes, yes. Okay, so if we go like so, let's try. Oh yeah, it's not gonna work like that. Mm, interesting, okay, okay. So. zombie nice okay i'm curious how this will work oops let's pick this up okay so then if we go like this this is one straight line right like they can't do anything they're just there and then if we do that will connect but they're stuck so once we get enough on here they should be stuck right 
Am I just making this way more complicated than I should? Because I really feel like I am. I feel like this is way more complicated than it needs to be. It's very interesting. Yeah, see, they're gonna, like, fall off. So then if we go, like... See, then I don't want that to happen either. Just slowly picking up all of our stuff over and over again. Hmm. I might just need to do this in, like, a different order. So let's try this. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm doing this in such a bizarre way, but I don't see how else to do this. <sighs> and it's kind of funny, honestly. I feel like it has to be kind of funny. Um, can you, like, match? See, I don't want that. No, you goober. You match. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. This? Yes. Yes, yes. No. You? Okay. Okay. Ha. I got it. It's fine. It just takes time. We're good. I need the like two hours later thing. Okay, so these will pick up all of their stuff. Let's just honestly down here make a bunch of uh, like we need to make all of our stuff down here. I think. Okay, we're doing we're doing it. We're making it. This is a very strange way of doing it. And honestly, there's a good chance that I get very tired of just being uh, down here. And working on this and we might just do like a different project later on so we'll see uh, how uh, how far we end up all right lots of hopper mine carts i wish you didn't have to like manually combine all of these because this just feels a bit tedious if i'm gonna be real okay hopper mine carts galore yeah And uh... okay, I feel like that is pretty sturdy. We'll put some glass here. <gasps> no. Uh, pixels. Okay. I don't know what I did, but uh, I'm leaving it. I think that's good. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll add glass, because I know I can open chests with glass above them. That is the one hack I have learned. See? Okay. So then, when these go on here, they're not going to really, like, be annoying. So now, these should pick up anything, right? Let's go. Let's go test it. This is our, our trial and error for the day. Even if we don't get like a ton, why are you all? Hey guys, come over here. I don't know why you just like, I'll take the seat though. I don't know why you all just like being over where I'm working. I'd prefer if you just left my workspace alone. Uh, it does make it a little bit difficult. I'll just let you know, you know, just trying to communicate. Why can't these get planted? That's odd. Yeah, you want to keep coming over here, please? Thank you very much. Yep, yep. Okay, no. And, okay, fine. You, you can stay. Aha! Oh. 
the beginning sound that they make almost sounds like a creeper and it gets me a little bit nervous okay so why aren't you oh i bet you aren't getting picked up because of the flower things i guarantee that's the thing or it's not the thing interesting hey guys can i get your seeds thank you oh my there's so many more seeds getting picked up when i'm in here i just can you like not be on that side can i like just kind of like use my dirt i might just use dirt to keep them on the other side honestly because they're just uh, they're being a little bit bothersome so if I can just go like so, come over here. Yep, all of you, even you. Come on, all of you. <gasps> hey, I'm talking to you. Thank you. You're my, you're Suika. Okay, I was like, who are you? Which one are you? Which one is being a little silly? Okay, go over there. Mm, go over there. Go over there. Maha. Okay. Now you come over here. Yes, yes. Come over here. Um, I'm gonna just make him the little box. Come over here. Come on. Which one are you? Takara? Come on. Over here. That's it. There you go. Yes, we love to see it. You little goober. Stay there. And now, we'll just remove this. Okay, and now, come on, all of you. Oh my gosh, I'm just phasing through all of you. Come on, little ones. Come on, my little guys. I know you're, you're a little chunky. Yeah, you have trouble uh, with corners. <laughs> Because there's so many of you in a small space. I get that. I understand. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Now you'll just be condensed. Oops. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Now they won't be in my way. <laughs> just had to kind of corner them okay ah <sighs> much easier oh no i think they'll be okay over here i don't think they'll hurt themselves anyway so it's good okay so these ones over here aren't going but that one is interesting okay I think it's because I don't have... Oh, actually, hang on. Oh my gosh, I don't even need this row. I'm so glad I thought of that. It was only these three, because then these ones... Okay, okay. I'm glad I saw that. I'm glad I know that. This is good to know. Okay. Oh my. All right. Now... <laughs> get to the other area without letting everything free that is the goal um okay yep yep i'm so glad that i have free cam to notice that because i would literally be wasting all of these had i not like realized that can you imagine <gasps> That would be so sad to just waste it all. Oof. Okay. We just cover it up like it never happened. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Totally fine. Okay. Now we're good again. Beautiful. Okay. So now I know it's just those two ropes. This is the one where we need to have some of the gold. Because this is what's going to collect it. Except that we need this to be going one whole row up. So we're going to place a bunch of dirt here. And we'll just do these 
two rows to start. Hmm. We'll need to figure out a way to uh, get to these ones. This glass piece might have to become something different. And we will figure that out. I'm sure of it. All right, and then we... Oh no, oh no! <gasps> oh no, oh no. Hmm. Yeah, super fun stuff. Interesting. <gasps> oh, this is gonna keep doing that, isn't it? Okay, so as long as it's already like past it, it's fine. Like, then we're good. Oh my word, there's so many in here. This is hilarious. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. No. Okay. I think we're gonna get it. We're getting it. So this should be fully, like, working. We'll just grab these guys. Hopefully you don't have to keep doing this the entire time. But you never know. Okay. So now this should be working. We shouldn't have to deal with that issue again. That should all be just in place and working. So if we just free cam this. Yeah, those two rows are good. They're covered. We're good. Um, this chest literally doesn't do a thing. So we're going to just grab that. And okay. all this up like so and rails did I miss any I did not perfect oops we don't want that and fix that like so okay and eventually I'll probably make like a trap door little thing here so I can go and place some like powered rails. But for now, I just want to get the shape of what we're going to be doing for this very uh, long, long hopper minecart system. Okay, so then it loops around here. We come over here, bring it back across. We also will probably need to go into some mine shafts to collect some more of these rails, just because I will eventually run out. Okay, so then this side goes there. Okay, and then back again. All right. So that looped, this loops, this is the side that we add more rails to. All right, and then this loops. Oop, and we're out, okay. And let's, can I put, let's do a torch, just cause I don't want anything to spawn. That would not be good. I don't think anything can spawn in such like a small like radius. But just in case, you know, just in case. Oh, that's water. Mm, okay, yep, can't do that. That makes sense then. Okay, sweet. 
Man, slowly but surely, we're making it work, guys. I know this is, like, a very, like, interesting project. I hope you guys don't mind that this is what we're doing for part of our long play. But I really feel like a lot of the times when, like, you see creators, like, doing long plays, like, obviously, we want it to be cozy and make some pretty builds. But I feel like a lot of the more, like, technical things, you know, we don't get to, like, see people's, like, process right like you are fully getting the the red redstone process because i'm not a redstoner uh some people in my community joke that because my name is red um then i am an excellent redstoner this is this is false if you've heard otherwise it is not true i am a newbie when it comes to redstone stuff and uh hopper minecarts and all of this jazz so uh, I think that it's kind of fun to try to like problem solve this stuff with you guys and figure it out. It takes me a lot longer just because I'm new to it, right? But I think it's still important to, uh, you know, get to see the how this stuff works in my mind. And hopefully me uh, struggling through this helps you figure out how you want to do some of this in your own world. Let's put some of these to the side. We're going to make some trap doors because I'm going to add in the little redstone uh, powered rail section into here. Okay, so I need this to be... Up. Honestly, I think because they're like stuck over there, I can just go like this. Yeah, I didn't even need to really do all the extra things I was doing. But let's put one of the redstone blocks right here. And then let's do one on like each row. I feel like if we can get it to like loop around here. Like that should be good. So let's see how this works. So maybe putting one like right there would be good. So let's stick one right here. So it can almost do like two. So we could almost, so if this loops around right here, comes over here. I feel like if we stick another one, maybe right here. Yes, I know I am kind of using my pickaxe for some of this collection. And then this will loop around. It'll come over here. I feel like it could almost like make it down to here, honestly. So maybe we stick one. Oops, hi. Right here. Okay. Now, I don't have a lot of gold, but I think I might have some in my, uh, my like nether hub room. So let's go check that out over here there we go okay nothing of gold okay did i for whatever reason put it down here for golden carrots nope just all the other stuff oh why did i have spore blossoms <gasps> what oh i was definitely just going around and uh fixing some things okay well, let's take a nap really quickly. I never actually sleep here often. Actually, let's change. Let's, let's sleep so we can see outside. So we might just like explore uh, our little caves a bit to see if we can find any gold. Oh, and there's a rainbow. Oh, I love that so much. Ha <laughs> ha. So pretty. Okay. Because I definitely need powered rails. So, uh, actually, I'm changing my mind a little bit halfway through. Let's quickly drop this stuff off back at our sniffer sanctuary. And then we're going to go into the mine shaft because you can sometimes get the powered rails inside the chests there. So that's what I want to look for next. So we're going to drop off our stuff. We're going to go into the, our mine shafts and we'll see what we can find. 
and uh, then we might just if we can find enough set up this middle section just a little bit but i also might just take a break and do some terraforming you know just because uh, only staying down uh in this area is a little bit sad for you know a nice little long play little hangout session together but i hope i'm curious do you enjoy these types of long plays where you kind of get to like do a little bit more technical things, but there's no like breaks. You get to see the full process. You get to see how my little non redstone brain thinks. Like I am curious genuinely if you enjoyed those types of long plays or if you think it's like, okay, like let's just, let's just do cozy things, Red. So I am curious, so let me know. All right, let's go. I think I have everything. Yeah, everything that I'll need, I have. We can make some more sticks, some more torches, so that's good. But let's go looking in our mine shafts to find some more rails, and maybe we'll find powered rails. If we find powered rails, I will be a happy camper. So let's just fly up and over. Literally having wings is just so, so nice. I'm so happy to finally have wings. And then we can just swoop inside here. And the way to get to our area is over in this spot. Okay. Now we go over here. It's funny how like after being in your area for a while, you just like know where you need to go. And it's like some very obscure way like you could never explain to someone like how to get where you're going you know in your own world but like to you it's like oh yeah you know you just duck into the cave you know you you, you hang a left in between this crevice of like a canyon and between here and there and you yeah it's just you just do it you're like it's easy you know it's it's just so funny to me i already think i've come through here a little bit and cleared out some of the minecart rails so we just need to check some of the chests to see if i just left any um, I also know there's more sections of this area that I, like, not explored. So let me just see. Okay. Yeah, see, this is what I need to make sure. I've, I I want to make sure I've, like, fully cleaned out an area of all of the resources before I decide to block it off. Because this is how we're going to actually, like, find additional things whoa hello <laughs> haven't heard that sounds down here for a bit guess i'm gonna need my uh my shield and things didn't expect to need those let me just come over here quickly okay they were just in there interesting i mean sure um, i'll take it I was very confused. Let's take out a little slime guy. Hi, dude. Are you stuck? <gasps> Gold. Yes. Hi, bud. We'll just uh, get rid of some slimies. Hello. Hello. And hello. Hello, little bug. Hello, little guys. Little jellos. Little jellos. So cute. Okay. And then we're going to grab this gold with our fortune pick. Literally having fortune for this is so helpful. Okay. Perfect. All right. And we're grabbing gold. Even better. Ooh, I need redstone as well. We're just going to grab everything that's helpful to us while we're down here. Except I need some pillaring blocks. So let me just grab... Some of this moss here. I don't think I need anything from here. So we'll just grab some of this moss. Okay, that should be enough if I just collect up all of this. Then we can get to those spore blossoms and the redstone. Let's do like right here. And then bop and bop. Okay. And we've got our money pick. I don't get drowned. Drowned, drowned. However you want to say it. Ooh. Okay, yep. Perfect. Ooh, I can hear cave spiders. 
we don't love to see it. Okay, now we'll grab some of these ones. Awesome, okay. And then we're gonna go looking down a little bit more down here. Ooh, some of this is un unexplored. I don't remember uh, over here. Usually I do. <gasps> this is exciting. I could find new things. I, uh, I, yeah, I don't know what's down here. Okay, so we need to be careful, right? Because we don't know if there's going to be a creeper trying to be a little sneaky in here. Okay. Well, someone fell. You heard that. Okay, well, nothing is down there, which is fine. I'm totally okay if we don't find anything as we're down here. Oh, well, there is you guys. Hi. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you at all. Owie. Rude. I mean, technically, it's not too rude. Like, I, I came for you first, so. Oh, okay. Don't like that. All right, dead end. That's totally okay. <gasps> Wait. Oh, oh, oh my. Uh, that is a... Uh... Oh, I bet this is a skelly spawner. <gasps> All right, we're gonna be a little cheeky. Do some free cam. <gasps> it was a skelly spawner. Okay, um, how do I avoid actually, like, going into this, but get to it? Let's go and yeah, like that. And then we'll come from a different way. Oh, oh. Uh, did you guys see that creeper? Because I saw the creeper. That was a little bit scary. Okay. So another thing to note, guys, look up as you're exploring and get rid of these in case it catches you off guard. Um, that almost got me. That would have been bad. Okay, let's make some more torches. Okay, so there's a creeper right here, but I need to make my way up, so we're going to be careful. We'll just plug up that. Okay, grab some of these guys. How much gold did we get? 25 gold? I mean... That really doesn't give us a whole lot, but it is better than nothing, right? Like, something is always better than nothing. Ooh, hey, here's more. Yay, gold. And even if it's not a lot of gold, like, I'm still gonna be very happy about any of this, because anything will help us. Um, okay, and this is where we came from, so we're gonna keep going this way. Oh, excuse me, come on, let me up. 30, okay. The adventuring portion of today, and I have zero food. Ooh, nice, Red. Why did you do that little silly move? Okay. I mean, we can <laughs> we can eat glowberries. <laughs> eat a lot of glowberries. <laughs> okay, where does this start? We're just going to come up like this. I feel like... Ooh, I don't like this at all. This is very scary. We're gonna put our shield up. I'm not prepared. Cause there is the... Uh, the... Little guy. Little... Little spider guy. Not spider. That is the, uh... The skelly guy. The other mob that starts with an S. But I saw a creeper. That's what I'm afraid of. I saw a creeper. And I don't want it to drop down on me. Yeah, there you are. I saw you from a distance, and I'm not a fan of you. Bye! <laughs> okay, we'll come down here and pick up these. And we might be able to find some additional goodies inside the chest, so that's always a good thing. It's always a plus. And nothing else down here. 
So we'll just put this there. Now, if I close this, let's see if we can poke some holes and get, is there anyone in here? There's somebody in there. Oh, there it is. Hi, dude. How's it going? Oh, hi. Oh, I hate food so badly. A little bit scary. It's fine. I don't hear anything else. I think we're safe. Wow, I didn't know I had this here. Wow, lots of discs, okay. Oh, oh no way. Two enchanted golden apples. I've never come across this. Can you screenshot this? My goodness. I've never ever seen that. <gasps> I still don't have food, but I kind of don't care. <laughs> oh my gosh. Have you guys ever, ever gotten this? Cause I definitely never ever have. Oh my word. <gasps> That is wild. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I went caving today. I have two. I I am in shock. I am completely in shock. I have never ever seen that. Never been that lucky. We'll take the this as well. My goodness. My goodness. My goodness. I'm literally like in shock. That is so cool. Uh, we definitely need to go back and uh, <laughs> get some glowberries because I'm very hungry, but we got two enchanted golden apples. That is insane. <gasps> oh my gosh. Um, okay, well, that's a, the screenshot cords for that if anyone's like looking for that, but holy moly. Now we can kind of open this up because you know we don't need to be afraid. <laughs> we don't need to be scared of it anymore. I am in shock. That is so, so cool. My goodness. I've never, ever experienced finding one of those. Oh, gold, hello. And we're getting more gold. We'll have enough rails anyways. And all we're doing is going into the mines to grab more. That's perfect. I'm very happy with that. Okay. Ooh. I heard a skeleton. Gotta be careful. All right. Okay, we can eat some of these. Let's have a little snack. This is gonna be a very unsaturated snack, but it's a snack nonetheless. Yep, so tasty. Just all the glowberries. <laughs> all the snacks. Okay, well, we have plenty of redstone from everything that we've been collecting so far. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. So I don't need any of these things. I'm really just looking for more gold. Like, that is the big find. But we do want more rails. Uh, I don't think I can use the regular rails to make any of, like, the powered rails or anything else. So that is the, the one not as great piece of it all, but it can still work to get us to find the things that we need. Okay. Ooh. Yep, make sure we put things down. Okay, money pick, give us more redstone. Okay, feeling good. I'm so just amazed that we were able to find all of the the enchanted golden apples i've never found two like ever that's incredible i'm i'm literally just in shock like so so cool let's grab some more blueberries before we go back in here because 
this is our uh, only food source right now. Grab some of you. And grab some of you. And over here. Ooh, I bet that is scary up there. Okay. We'll be careful. Okay. Be very careful. Actually, I have bones too. We can just like bone meal one of these as well. Let's do that. Let's find one that looks safe and just do a bunch of bone mealing of them. Then we can get our food source up. We should have done this to begin with. This is way, way easier. Okay. Ah, all right. I'm feeling a lot better now. I don't like hearing that skeleton coming from nowhere. That one is a little concerning. But I'm feeling much better. We have some food, so we can go exploring. We've got torches. Like, we've got a lot of good things for us. Okay. No one's coming to pick us up and get us and spook us. So that's good. Ooh. Okay, gravel. Be careful of the gravel. Noted. Sweet. Okay, let's check to see if this does have any gold. Alright, I don't think we'll find any more gold in here. That's okay. And then we just go around here. Ooh, diamonds. Hello. Hello, shiny. Okay. See, this is my, like, oh, lots of diamonds. What level are we on? Negative nine. That is impressive. I don't usually find diamonds. Oh, my goodness. We're finding so many. Yay. We're just going to silk touch them because I do want to make sure we can keep on... Okay, let's put one down there. We can keep on like finding everything. Okay, so silk touch. Ooh, yay. One, two, three. And it's around tough. Is that a usual thing? I don't always remember if like you can find them around tough or not. Oh. Okay, there we go. And then carefully come down here. Okay. And then we silk touch this as well. Make sure. There's, ooh, we got another three. We got three on the other one, so that's cool. Let's go all the way around. Especially on the deep slate levels, I always recommend fully excavating around all of your diamonds because you never know if you're going to like accidentally miss one. But we just got three here, which is, I mean, I'm good with finding six. I wasn't even looking for diamonds and we found diamonds. Like, those are always the best moments. <laughs> Those are literally the best moments. I'm gonna move where this torch is located so that it kind of shines over there so nothing else spawns down there. Let's keep eating our glow berries. And we have almost a stack of gold just by like exploring in here. That is amazing. I don't think anything's gonna be here, uh, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I don't think we'll find anything down there. And that's good with me. Okay. Well, I'm feeling good. We've got lots of our gold. We find, I can't believe, the enchanted golden apples. Literally, what are the odds? What are the actual odds of that? Okay, let's try going down here. Um, I haven't, like, explored down here, so this does make me a little bit nervous. I don't know what will be down here. That is the part that makes me nervous. So we'll be careful. With glowberries being my only food source, if I take a lot of damage, uh, it's not the best. <laughs> okay. 
don't see anything. All right, okay. I think we're all right. Oh, more diamonds. Well, well. Okay, and I always want to make sure I'm looking up in case there's little sneaky spots where other guys can drop down on me. So keep that in mind as well. Okay, we'll take our silk touch again. Fully excavate around the diamonds. We've got two. Wonderful. We love our shiny blues. And I think we'll just get two. Yeah, yeah, we're just getting two. Ooh, hello. Um, we're gonna just pop something up there. Okay. Um, I'm gonna close this up temporarily. I don't want anything coming down on me. <laughs> A little bit concerning. Okay. Then we can focus on getting these two diamonds. Amazing. We're at eight diamonds and we're not even that, like, far down. That's what's amazing to me. Alright, so nothing else here. So that's fine to close up and not return to. Um, so we can just go like so. This seems like it could have something interesting up here. And we'll just spend a little bit more time caving around. I'm not expecting to just like keep doing this the rest of the time. I just wanted to be able to grab some more rails to make this project go a little bit quicker. Ooh, we're right by lava. Hello. Right by the popping. And uh, let's do this. I didn't take the bucket. Who's in? Just trying to get a little bit closer to ya. Yep. Okay. Oh, I've already been here. Okay. Where was this spot? Okay, already closing some of this off. That's fine. We'll see what's around here. Okay. Alright, well I've already been around this area a little bit, so that's at least good to know that like... There's not going to be a ton of spawning. I'm also just kind of ignoring a lot of the gold that's around because I have plenty of... Or I'm ignoring the iron, excuse me. I'm ignoring the iron because I have the iron farm. The only reason I would really take the deep slate iron at this point is if I feel like I really like the, the look of the, like, ores. Because I'm, I'm good. Ooh, almost missed this. We'll always take a little bit of redstone. Okay. And we'll check down here. I think, yes, I was like, I think this is gold and we definitely want that. Okay, I think once we uh, grab this gold, we'll call it good. We have so much ores and things. This turned into a little bit of a cozy, just kind of mining trip which I'm really happy with what we found. Um, I didn't expect to get, oh wow, that's exactly a stack. Yeah, definitely didn't expect to get like a stack of gold. I literally was just wanting to find more of the, the rails. So I would say job well done. We've gotten tons of redstone that we needed, gold that we needed, we found diamonds. I still can't believe two enchanted golden apples. Like actually, hello. That's incredible. So, so incredible, actually. Okay. Now the uh, the fun task of finding our way out of here. That's the one part I don't know about. Okay. That is all that we need from here. Now I just need to... F oh, hi. No. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. We're gonna go this way. I think this is how we'll get out. Just gotta find where I've been traveling. And also put down torches as I'm going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now this is the part of exploring mineshafts that gets a little bit, uh, like, frustrating. It's just, if you don't know, ooh, I don't know what's down there yet. 
that sounds like extras that I don't want. Yeah, we're not going to go down there yet. So I haven't explored this spot. I was here, but this is the part of mine shafts that starts to confuse me is just finding my way out. Like, I feel like normally I have pretty good direction. Here we go. But sometimes you just get a little bit lost. Um, yeah, I think we're going to just call it good. I want to make sure I have a better food source <laughs> than just glowberries. <laughs> okay, so let's head on out of here. Do -do -do. Go sneaking down our little spot here and up and out. All right, we made it. Yay. Okay. Now we go back, we finish our little spot, and then I'm, I'm feeling good. This is our little sniffer, seed collector, caving little adventure. I really enjoy exploring mine shafts. I know that like they can be scary because of the, uh, the like cave spiders, but I honestly think it's really fun. Also, my, uh, my shaders just can't handle having something else. All right, and we're up and out. Ooh, don't hit the top. This is a very... I need to, like, have a mod that, like, lowers the amount of space my shield takes up. Okay. We're home. We're gonna set our spawn really quickly. All right, and now let's put all of our gold to smelt. So let's first uh, put away some of this extras away some of this uh the wood will stick in here we'll put all of our mossy stuff in this top bit here the slime we'll put in here the bones as well we just needed a little bit more space because what i have is i have four i have four of the uh the furnaces so i'm gonna split these up between all of my furnaces and go like so so, and I need to get more, uh, coal, so we'll grab more coal. And now we can start collecting up some of the gold, and I think once we have sticks, we should be able to just make some of the rails. I had a bunch of bamboo, yeah, I had some bamboo in here. So I think we need, let's look at this again. So if we look at rails, ooh, cap socks going on. Hello, rail. So powered rails, they need uh, six, a stick. So the sticks was the only part that we just uh, were missing. So we got that. Okay, so powered rails, you can make six, which is actually super helpful. I did not need as much gold as I thought I did. I always forget which tool is the lowest. Let's use the silky. We'll just collect any XP towards repairing my tools while we're doing this. This is like a super simple hack to kind of like repair any of the tools you have that need it is just to rotate them as you pick up some of the blocks and I have some food let's just eat this um cooked rabbit I can't remember if I got this from like a cat in a desert but we're just gonna eat some of our other sources of food really quick okay you can tell I used glowberries for food in the past too, which is super funny. I need to uh, get a little like farmer guy so I can actually have a decent source of food coming in because right now I, I really don't have uh, the best. I use my, my cow crusher. That's like my food source. But if I wanna get more like saturation, I don't exactly have that. Um, but while we're waiting, I kind of want to take our money pick and see how much deep slate diamond we get while we're waiting for the rest of the gold i also love how complimentary shaders makes these look but let's take a guess so we have eight one two three four five six seven eight i'm gonna guess with eight diamond ore and fortune three we're gonna get like i'm gonna say 20 okay i'm being uh is that optimistic but we're gonna go for it We'll see how many we get with fortune. And 15. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll take it though. We're slowly getting even more diamonds. I don't usually just have this many diamonds in my world. I think in my previous series, I did not have this much diamonds. So I will gladly take what I'm finding. 
Okay. And our silk touch pick is almost all fixed up too. So let's make some more powder rails. Okay, this is perfect. I'm so happy. All right, and then let's put our clay. I think I was putting the clay in here. So we'll just put clay in this area and the tuff in there, gravel goes in there. We're just doing a little bit of organizing. We'll put the gunpowder back in there and there's some more of the clay. Okay, so now we can go over to our area and just add in the last of those and we'll, we'll sleep in our sniffer sanctuary. And then once I get the, uh, the minecarts all set up and working, then I think I'm going to run over quickly and check on the bamboo farm to see how I set up the repeater, like, uh, comparator setup because I need to sleep in here first. Um, excuse me, I need to go sleeping. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a face full of sniffer. I guarantee it. Can I click the bed? I just need to click the bed. That's all I need to do. Okay. Yep. Sniffer toes. All the sniffer toes. <laughs> oh gosh, that's so funny. Excuse me. Oh, hello. Oh, all of the all the little seeds. I should just condense you into a small little corner more often. I'm getting all sorts of seeds from you guys. Okay. Plop those down. Plop you down, and then we can plop down. Okay. So now we've got powered rails, so let's go down like so to put them in place. Okay, that one had it, you needed it, you needed one, and you needed one. And then we'll use the rest of these rails here. Let's just see where we end up. That's what I'm curious about. Okay, now let's check to see where we're at. And we'll just use one for now. Just out of curiosity. Okay. And we'll start it all the way over in this corner. I might end up getting in the way, but I think I have a way to make sure I don't get in the way. Okay, so we'll run you. Okay, yes. Yes, okay. It starts to slow, but then it gets picked back up. Okay, this is good. Gets picked up again. Okay, good. Good. And if I have like three of these running, whoop, right off the edge. Okay, this this looks, this feels good. I, I like this. This is actually working very well. So if this is where we end, I think we're doing good. So... Let's just grab some more dirt. I think I had more dirt out here. Rooted and coarse dirt. Mm, I didn't want to use those guys. We'll use grass next. I really like having the grass block be like a solid grass block with this resource pack that kind of just uh, makes them look a little bit nicer. Okay. And we'll bring these blocks back down with us. And then I don't need my rockets right now. So let's do this. Bloop. Okay. And then we're going to remove this one. I don't need this one either. Because I kind of know where this needs to go. We'll get rid of that. Actually, um, we'll move this torch. So, if this is where that goes, let's do... I don't need my bow, so we'll put this in here. Let's do this guy right there. And we'll use a powered rail. And I think this is getting to the end of where we were gonna have everything get, like, stopped and collected but we can go a little bit further, I believe. So we'll just see. Cause now it just kind of turns down here more. I think this is where we would end it though. I feel like that makes the most sense. So this curves comes down over here. I feel like if we had one, maybe like right here, that would be good. And then this gets curved around again. Okay, yeah, 
less, doing good. Now, if I curve this in here, I would have to stop it right here, which means that this one block wouldn't get it, which is actually fine, so that would work. Yeah, because right now, if I go like this, yeah, perfect, yeah. Yep, okay. Me just like slowly checking to make sure this idea of mine is gonna work. Yeah, that's fine. Because that means we can curve it one more time back here and there's fewer of that uh, monstrosity to deal with. I'm sure there is such an easier way to do what I was doing over there. So if you are in the comments and your, your brain is just like, but there's an easier way, Red. What are you doing over there with all your, your hopper bide carts over there? Um, feel free to just let me know in the comments like what the easier way to do is. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of. So I'm definitely open to suggestions. I just personally didn't, uh, didn't see what I should do. So I will always take advice and learn because I think, uh, we can always have room to learn new things, so I'll, I'll take it, the advice gladly. Okay, so then we go back down, add in more rails, and I think, so this had this guy. I think this one will make it, so then if we do another one, we'll do one right here like so. Okay, and then this will be the end. So this I want to go back and forth, but this I want to be like the spot that ends up collecting everything. And then all of this stuff back here is going to be where we had all the hoppers. <laughs> So that'll be the fun part. Actually, we don't even use these. The, the hoppers are the things that go down here. This will just become dirt blocks because the hoppers are going to be what funnels down here. So this, this seems like it's good. Um, so I'm going to just remove this and we'll add one like this. How do I? You want to just, uh, move? That would be... That would be great. Me not being able to, like, move these how I want to. Okay, if I, like, just, like, put it on the edge... Maybe. Okay, now I'm just like watching this. I just want to see if this is going to work, how I'm imagining. I don't want it to get stuck. That's my one concern, is it's going to get stuck over there. But this is working. We'll have multiple little hopper minecarts running, but the real question is, does it get stuck? On that final one. Oh, oh. Oh, good, it doesn't. Okay. Sweet! Okay, so that means we can put several of these up, which is gonna be perfect. So let's go like this. Oh, I didn't know the bottom looks like that. Okay. Sweet. That is wonderful. Okay. And then once this comes, we're going to uh, clear our inventory. Did I? Okay, I think I got everything out of there. Let's see if I truly did. Hey, look, we picked that up. Okay, sweet. So this will work. And we'll leave this in here for now. But that's exciting. I'll just push that. And for now, if I just put a block here, it should just run in between these and it will just pick everything up that I need to. And since it will take it quite a long time to actually, uh, you know, filter everything out should be good. I think if I just leave one minecart running, then it'll be easiest because if there's one minecart, 
it won't really despawn quick enough. If I put more of these, uh, if I put more of these little powered rails on these corners, it will help it go much quicker. And I think this will really help things. So we'll just do this. Cause I think if I do it this way, Then this will move much, much faster to pick things up. And then they'll be less likely that we end up losing anything just to, you know, things being slower because I don't have enough powered rails. So we're gonna kinda try to do this on all of these turns here. Just add power rails to just kinda whip it around, make it go quicker. Hopefully this will help things. I feel like it has to, honestly. Like there's no way this can't be helpful, right? Like. This has to be a very helpful thing for us. And then this will just pick up everything else that we had in there that's kind of like clogging up space. Okay. Wait, so I grabbed everything else that we don't need in there. We're gonna have to grab the dirt and the rails and stuff, but that's okay. But once we get this figured out, we should be good. And then it'll just have only the little uh, seeds. Look at that, only the seeds. And then this will go pretty quick. Okay, I like it, good. This is me doing redstone-y things. This is very, I'm sure like basic, but figuring out how to do the different areas. Uh, it's, it's helpful to me. I'm sure I could like do a like back and forth. I probably should change this, just like do a back and forth bit. But for now, uh, we're gonna leave this. This is my temporary solving. And then eventually we'll have more. But I think for now, I'm gonna let the sniffers out just so I can start collecting seeds for more than just this one little area. So, cause I think I should be able to have all of the sniffers out and about and they can collect up everything of the seeds and let me just see if there's any more seeds while they were over in this area i don't think so okay but let's uh let's move them around i think if i can change the side that they were on to be over here then i can get them to just uh you know give me more of the seeds in the areas where i've already started having a collection system like underneath them so if I can just get everyone's attention. Can you all follow me, please? All of you? Even you, Mr. Stuck on the Plants? Are you literally stuck? Can you follow me now? Are you still stuck? Are you still stuck? Come on, my dude. Come on, my little guy. Now will you follow me? Takara, are you following me now? Come on. Okay. The, I love the sniffers. They're so cute. Such a cute little dude. Alright, now they should only collect the seeds from under where I have stuff. Look at that. I'm gonna have sniffer seeds in no time. Okay, well that is a very, very, very basic uh, seed collection system, but it works for now. So I think while this is going, I'm just gonna let it do its thing. We've got the two of those ones, put two of those in there and this will just kind of run. And then I can just like grab the seeds whenever I need to. I think a little bit of, I'll spend some time like off camera actually setting up the system where it will like get to the end here and like have a chest and like drop everything off. That's like the next level, but I'm gonna call this good. And we're gonna switch our focus for now. It is a little bit strange to just kind of be like leaving it where it's currently at, but I am still very happy with the, uh, just knowing, you know, that we're gonna have a lot more of the seeds collected and not despawning. Cause that was, that was the main thing that I was struggling with is just knowing I was losing so many seeds to them just despawning. So we'll leave this for now. We'll fix this up later. I'm sure with all of those hopper minecarts, I'll probably do like a similar, just smaller scale back and forth thing of this. But I need to figure out the like 
comparator, repeater, whatever that business is that gets the minecart to like stop, unload all of the seeds, you know, like that whole thing. So we'll leave this here for now. And I'm just going to put some trap doors so if I need to get into here, it's like a little bit easier. So it ain't, it ain't looking pretty, but we'll ignore it for now. It'll be fine. <laughs> And I'm, I'm gonna take a quick nap with the snippers. And then we're gonna move on to just working on terraforming the mountainside. We're gonna use a lot of moss. So we might go collecting some moss, but the main things we're gonna use are the grass blocks and moss. I would love if the mountainside could be made of moss instead. Now I don't have sniffer feet in my face, which is kind of nice, you know. Sniffers are cute, but they, their feet are a little stinky. All right. So now we just get to go over. I'm so excited to see how many seeds we actually collect. Actually, I am going to grab the seeds that I had in here because I think it's just interesting to see how much we can collect while we're working on the mountain above. So I'm gonna take the seeds that are in here. I know I just put some back, but I realized I'm curious to just know how many seeds we actually are collecting. So those are the seeds. So now this is fully empty. So let's see how many seeds we can collect. Very exciting stuff. All right, and then we've got seeds in here. Okay, now we're just gonna see what we can get. I'm excited. This feels, this feels good. It's like one of those things, you know, where in your world, you ever have those projects where just in the back of your mind, you kind of know like, oh man, I really should work on this, like I should get this done, but then you just don't, and you just start to be like, mm, I know I should do this. This is one of those projects where I'm like, I know I could like have an entire like field full of these seeds if I only just collected them. Like that's literally if I just collected them. That's like all I needed to do. Hi feces. And I wasn't, so now this feels so good. Okay, um, as far as what we're gonna collect, we're just grabbing the moss here. Um, I don't need anything else, nothing else was in there, so I think we're gonna call it good. I think this was the bed that I had in the sniffer sanctuary. We just kind of moved it. Hello, fishies again. I literally love that the fish are right there, it's just so fun. Yep, just the pot. You ever just like put things in random barrels and you're like, oh, I don't remember why I did that, but we did it. <laughs> fly through our little bridge. I love that bridge. Literally so happy with it. We're grabbing some extra rockets because we're gonna go collect a bunch of grass. I have an ender chest that has two shulker boxes in it. So we're gonna work on that. And then we're gonna fill up, let's see. So I think I really like the look of moss being here. So I might end up just like, using moss on this hill mainly. What will be interesting is me trying to round out this mountain. I want it to stay steep so that it doesn't kind of like go over top of our path. So we are going to like round it up mainly right here. And I think I like the look of having just are like moss blocks. I feel like the look of the moss and like the green that the moss has is just a lot prettier. I was so confused what this box was. It's literally the sun going past my AFK box. I was like, what contraption? Is this a satellite in Minecraft that's in space? Oh, too funny. But I think we're gonna just go with some moss. I think I like the green color. So we're going to take our shulker boxes and let's just go and try to uh, collect up some more moss in our caves here. We'll start there. We might end up just like exploring somewhere new and just like converting a bunch of the like stone somewhere into more moss but for now we'll just leave it because there's stone underneath here at the base of it and i also am going to put torches here i don't really want to collect a bunch of carpets and other things so what i often do you guys have seen me do this probably a few times 
but the different blocks that I'm not really interested in collecting, we're going to just kind of filter those out. So we'll go like so. So we're mostly collecting moss. I am okay with some carpets and some of these little dudes as well, but mostly we just want moss itself. And we always are gonna put our torches back because I don't want creepers spawning to get me. That's the one thing that I get a little bit paranoid about these lush caves is just creepers could just be spawning anywhere so you gotta be careful Hi, little one. Oh, I love the axolotls. It's so fun that they're just in the lush caves kind of hanging out. They're so, so cute. Is it just going to stay there? That feels a little bit concerning, but we'll leave it. Hi, dude. Hello. Make sure you don't stay too much out of the water. Yeah, there's water all around you. Make sure you know how to get back in it. You're almost there. There you go, you got it. Good job, little one. And then we collect up all of our moss. Moss is one of my favorite blocks. I think I do want to make a moss farm just because I use moss for so many things like the carpets, for building, decor, just so versatile. I really need more of it. I can never get in m too much moss in my life. I'm curious how we're doing. Okay, so we've, we've still got plenty of our stacks left to fill up. So we're doing good. But still got more room to add more. Oops. Just uh, alerting any zombies that I am here. Love it. This is my air bubble, isn't it? This is for my skelly farm. Yeah, I didn't realize it was right here. But there's my skelly farm. I was like, why is there deep slate? This isn't even deep slate level, but then it then it all made sense. This is something that I made. I, for some reason, thought it was like over there, so I was a little confused when I was uh, over here. Okay, we're doing good. Getting everything collected that we need. Love it, love it. And we'll put another torch over here, just because I don't really know how, uh, where the light levels are at, but I'm not letting any creepers spawn. And I already know I got enough of the carpets because I can't pick any more up. <laughs> I've seen some people comments like, it's so cool that you can like filter, but like you're leaving stuff behind. <laughs> yes, I am leaving some things behind. Um, I actually don't need to have all of these stacks of rockets in my inventory. So I will add more of our, uh, our mossiness to here. Like so. Oh wait, I want the bow. And that's the money pick. I want the silk touch pick. Okay, silk touch pick. Don't want to lose my ender chest. Okay. Perfect. 
So now we can pick up more. I don't need a whole lot of the... Why do I have both of these down here? I don't need to have both of these down here. Okay. So we've got this area pretty much cleared out. Is there anything over here I should watch for? Ooh, more redstone. More amasi. I mean, I haven't really done a lot of, like, exploring on this side of things, so let's just, uh, yeah, let's do some collecting over here. Maybe we'll uncover some more, like, gold or something. Some more useful things. Or I'll just make a water slide, uh, by accident, which seems like that's what's happening. Just making my way down. go. Yep. Ooh. Ooh, I have not been over here. I don't even see any of my torches, but there's some gold, so that's good to know. Always good to figure out new areas. I love, I think one of my favorite updates that uh, Mojang has done so far was the 1.19. Just having caves and cliffs, like these lush caves are beautiful, the dripstone caves. Oh, hi. Yep, I knew eventually I'd find one of you guys just trying to get to me. And to that I say not today. Not any day, actually. Not, just not wanting that at all. Yeah. None of that for me. Thank you, but no thank you. Ooh, we will grab gold. I feel like now I'm just like looking for the gold after our little like adventure. What? Grab the gold. Okay, perfect. And more of this. Add some more of that. All right, now we gotta go around and clean up all of the moss that we have picked up. We just need to go and actually get it down there. Okay, we've still got, oh, it looks like I almost have all of my stacks filled out. That's great. And then we can still grab out our shulker boxes and collect more of this even. Um, I want to make sure I don't go too high up without getting some of these torches slid up. I'm not about creepers just jumping down on me. <laughs> that is the part that is a little bit scary about these cave openings. Don't want those guys. Okay. So now I feel like we're a little bit safer to slowly make our way down here. Okay. And then we'll grab some of those that were down there. And I'm also going to put some... Oops, don't need two torches. But we'll put some torches down here. I am curious. Like, what does this look like? Nothing's going to drop on me. Ooh, there's a creeper. Okay. I really like that lush caves have a lot of glowberries because they do make it a little bit easier to not really need to be, like, as concerned about creepers just, like, dropping on you because there's enough, like, light sources everywhere else. So it does make it a little bit more convenient, I will say. Okay, I'm gonna just block off this water source. I really don't want water right now. And we'll just go on the inside of here. It seems like a nice little cavern to just grab all our moss from. Okay. Now my chests are full, so we're gonna go like so. I'm gonna grab a, ooh, a green shulker for my moss is perfect. So shift and hold all of those. I'll put like these other ones in here as well. And then let's just go like so. And then all the moss back right there. Okay. 
and then we'll pick this up. This is also silky, so we'll pick this up. Okay, so we've got all our boxes. We're good. Okay, all right. I heard a little skelly. Dude, I'm also out of food again. I keep on doing this where I just like don't have food on me. Pfft. Not exactly the smartest play. It's fine though. Okay, we got a spore blossom. Perfect. I will always collect spore blossoms. I think the one other thing that I really like about the like caves and cliff. I feel like that is a that is my like diamond hoe. Look how large this reflection is though. Holy moly. I was like, is that a zombie? Like the colors kind of seem like zombie colors, but like I don't think it is. That was silly. Um, but I think the other uh, thing I do like about the 119 update was the fact that we got the spore blossoms. Literally, that is one of my, like, favorite things that I, like, always use. I I hear... <gasps> Another one? Hey, yep, it's fine. Oh my gosh, get away, get away, get away. Oh, two hearts, my Lanta. My Lanta. We're just gonna block this off for a moment. If I have food, that would be great. I will literally... <gasps> a third one today! I'm eating this bread right now. I'm literally going to die. A third one? <sighs> This is incredible! What on earth? <laughs> what is going on? I found three enchanted golden apples in this one long play. I, I look like a pincushion. <laughs> and we found two, like, skelly spotters. This is insane. I have never, ever, ever been this lucky. Three enchanted golden apples inside, like, skelly spawners. Not even, like, the ancient city. None of that. What on earth? This... This is amazing. I'm genuinely in shock. Um, I will, unfortunately, be eating this rotten flesh because I need the food. So ignore my stinky particles. Okay, I'm a little bit desperate and I forgot other foods. So I'm just going to be a little smelly. The fact that you can eat rotten flesh and then just, like, have hunger, it kind of is interesting because it's, like, zombies will always be, like, hungry for human flesh kind of a thing, right? So it is kind of a, a funny thing. But I can't believe it. Three golden apples. That is insane. That's so cool. I love that. Okay, let's just try to get our, like, hunger bars up so that we start regening. Okay, regen. Yes, please keep regening. I need, I need um the regen to work. Okay, yep. We're slowly getting our hearts up. I just want my hearts to go up. Like that's really all I'm trying to do here is get my hearts up. It might take me a little bit more uh stinky rotten flesh, but I'm okay with it. Man, though, I cannot believe three enchanted golden apples. That that is lucky. I have to say, that has to be luck. Like, what on earth? Okay, well, we've got them in there, so we'll leave them here. Um, I'm also going to screenshot this one. So if anybody is, like, kind of following along in this world, and, like, wants to know those things, like, that's how you can find them. Okay, we'll just uh, put a little torch down there, just so nothing comes for me. Then we'll keep on exploring. I am surprised we keep on finding so many spawners in our area. Oh, I almost just fell off. Ooh, diamonds. Hello. Yeah, I almost just fell. Oh, hi. Hi, dude. No, thank you. Nice. Boop. Nope, not quite. Not quite, but that's okay. Okay, well, we're doing pretty good as far as, like, 
where we're able to get, let's block off this water source. Okay, I don't really want the water sources. It doesn't really help me much. Okay. I feel like this should be enough moss. So we're just gonna grab everything from here. Put our last torch down. Oh, never mind, we have more. Okay, we'll put those torches down. Now we're gonna go back up. We're gonna start working on the terraforming of things. And I'm really excited to see this mountain slowly transform. It's gonna be amazing. It was really needed. <laughs> okay, I still cannot believe we found that many skelly spawners today that helped us just like find enchanted golden apples. Like I can't make that up either guys. Like my goodness, that is just beautiful. Okay, now we've gotten the things that we were looking for. We got a bunch of moss. Now let's go over here. We're gonna, I can't remember if I put a bed over here. Um, we're gonna just settle down here. I don't think I put a bed in here, so we will need that. But let's put this down. Let's put our little guy down there. I'm just gonna see if I put a bed in here. This was our dragon's temple, because we defeated the dragon. I used this piece of bamboo to kill the dragon. So we had all these different pieces. This is the, the pumpkin head that I wore. This is the banner that we made for our shield that we brought into the end. These were the eyes of Ender we used. Obviously, we got the dragon head. We have a katana going through the dragon head, since this is a more like Japanese-inspired area. So like I thought the katana was a good fit. But yeah, and then we uh, have end crystals protecting the dragon egg down here, which I thought was fun to have, like, kind of, like, movement in this area, and obviously some chorus fruit. But I really like this area. Uh, I guess I didn't put a bed, so we're gonna go make a bed and bring it up here. We're just gonna make a white one, because I think the white will match, like, the building being a lot of, like, white colors. Because we can't really make like a, a mangrove shade of red for like a bed. It's either like a bright red or just white. So we're just gonna make a solid white bed. Grab some blocks. Make bed. There we go. Put those back. Okay. And I'll put the gold in here. And then the spore blossom we'll also put in here. Now we'll put the seeds in this one. Okay, now it is time to do some terraforming. <sighs> okay, I want to like get a screenshot of what this looks like before we fix it all up because it's kind of fun just to see like the before and after. I think that's another thing I really enjoy about Minecraft is just like the projects that you work on will have such an amazing before and after. And to me, that's like really fun to just see it change over time. But let's put these other things away. Now we have grass blocks, but we're just mainly going to use moss. So let's, we've got all of our moss and we're just going to start placing it around. And I might need more rockets, but we can always come back and get it. And there's nothing else in here that I need. So this is really all the moss that we're going to use and hopefully we'll make it work. Um, I'm going to go like so, so we have an even stack. But now, let's just start working on this. It's very exciting. We are going to also be removing some of the, uh, the like, podzel stuff. Because, honestly, like, the podzel is just kind of ugly to me. But as far as, like, how steep we're going to make this mountain, that's what we get to figure out. Because I want to make sure it just stays, like, this is going to stay the base of the mountain. We're just going to change out the podzel at the bottom and then make this kind of curve down. So I think we'll go, like, two down and then one out and then, like, three down. And we'll just kind of, like, keep doing that and do, like, four down and then, like, five down. And then we'll see where this lines up and then we'll kind of, like, fix up some of the edges. So um, I think that's what we're going to try. We'll see how this works. So we're just going to start working on it. I'll have my sword because we are going to, like, cut down some of the bamboo. But I want to uh, replay mod this as I go. 
Um, I also need food, so we're going to quickly go to our cow crusher because that's our main food source is our cow crusher, and I need food really badly. Oh, I left this open. What do you know? Okay, six here. Nothing there. Um, let's breed up some of these cows quickly. I, I sorry. I need food, though. So thank you for being my food source. I'm sorry, cows. It's a little inhumane. I know it is. It really is. But I do get a lot of food from this, which is super helpful for me. Okay. Didn't have any coal in there, but I'm going to just move some over here. I really like how smokers just like move the food so fast. It's great, but we're just gonna eat some food really quickly and then we'll be able to start going. I need to be more consistent about like picking up all of the uh, the food that's in here and like breeding th them up so that I do get more consistent food. Cause even though this is like my solid food source, I'm not always like coming in here and uh, working on making sure I have enough food like always on stock here so I think I might just spend some time at some point just like breeding them up you know to like actually get like a few different rows of food it's also nice that I get leather with this because then I can make all the books that I need if I want to make any like picture frame stuff you know item frame things I definitely can which is also very nice but now I feel a little bit better we've got a bunch of steak so now it is time to get working on this. Oh, owie. Okay, so we're gonna start like right over here. Just bonk in my head a bunch. Okay, so we'll first start by cutting down this bamboo and then we'll go like two down like so. And then we're going to have this tool be there. Okay, like so. I want this to be here. Okay, and then this will go out. Oops, didn't want to do that. Okay, and then this is going to be... So we'll do uh, one... Actually, this was supposed to be underneath it one more time so like right here right and then like this is where it was going to be the third one um i also need to make sure i'm lighting this up because there's definitely going to be a bunch of little friends popping up under here if i'm not careful which is scary um we're gonna replace these so that i can get other like so i can get the pretty green blocks because I want all of the blocks to look good underneath this. And then this is where we start the three down. So I wanna go like so, two, three, so we can go like this. And then this is one, two, and three. So I like that. And then we'll get rid of this. I'm actually literally going to just replace it all with some of the prettier uh, moss. Just like all of it that I'm able to. Okay, and then let's look in free cam. Ooh, this is gonna look funky. Okay, basic shape first, and then we'll kind of like scatter in random blocks, okay? But basic shape of things first, all right? <laughs> hey, this is gonna be one of those trust the process, because it looks very strange right now of things, I guarantee it. This is one of those things. We're just gonna make some funky shapes around here as well. Yep, it's gonna look a little silly. It's fine. Yeah, moss is definitely the play. And then we'll like have all of the little like grass bits and like mossified bits showing, which will be even better. Okay, so then as far as, like, right here goes, I think I want this to be, like, right here. Go, like, 
like so. Chop down all of these ones. Did I not go there? Oh, there was bamboo. I was like, why can't I place blocks there? I can see it highlighting it. Like, it wants to place blocks, but can't. What is the reason for this? Okay, and then we'll replace some of these with just regular dirt. See, free cam is just wonderful for things like this when you're about to like make a very interesting shape and you need something to kind of like help you figure out how to make it not look weird and boxy and just like odd, you know? Okay. So as far as this side of it goes, this needs to be, this is gonna be the weirdest point right here because this needs to be pretty dropped. So let me just, okay. We're gonna just quickly come from over here. So if I go like so, this I think will help it a little bit. Cause now this is curved a little bit more than it just was. I think this will help us a lot. <laughs> it's hard to know like what is gonna help with just how odd this could end up looking but I think this will be good. It's just about finding the, 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 the shapes that are gonna look the most natural for what it is. And I don't want it to get too far out because I don't want it to overshadow what we have. So if I go back, yeah, this looks funky cause it's not like filled in properly, but I think this is looking better we're gonna pretty much just like cover all of this. So we will need to have a decent amount of torches around here just cause I am planning to kind of just go over top of this pretty much. So if I go like this on part of it, some of it I'll go like this. Others I'll go in some, cause I'm not trying to like make it even necessarily, right? Like we want it to be a little bit off just so it looks more natural, but I do need to make sure I light this up as I go. Otherwise I'm still gonna end up with creepers everywhere. And that's the last thing I want in our nice little area. One thing that I did realize as I made this uh, Let's Play series, in my last series, I ended up having like, <laughs> I had so many Endermen picking up my blocks and like placing them other places that I didn't want them. So I turned off mob griefing. But what I found out uh, is when creepers explode because I turned out mob griefing, they don't actually like make a hole. They don't make a creeper hole. They don't like explode any of the blocks around them. Literally the only thing the creeper can explode in this world is me. <laughs> which happened in like the very first uh, episode I made for this Let's Play series. Cause this is a world that I make little like Let's Plays in and like slowly you get to see the progress like build it up in this area. And uh, yeah, so figured that out. So I assumed that creepers were just operating the same way just cause I did explode in the first like episode, but I guess it was only uh, me. None of the blocks can, uh, explode which is kind of nice but it is kind of like a weird like cheeky thing I feel like it's like kind of like a I don't know it feels a bit cheaty uh to not have creepers like exploding my world because it doesn't feel like as punishing in a way like if a creeper explodes it doesn't do anything like if it explodes over some other like ground it's not going to actually end up hurting my builds um which makes sense like you turn off mob griefing, they can no longer grief, and part of them griefing your world is, well, ex exploding. So, learning new things as I try different settings in my world, to say the least. But, yeah, that was kind of an interesting thing. I also, villagers don't pick up bread, so I can't, like, breed villagers up the way that I, like, thought I could. So just, like, random things like that I didn't expect to have in this world happening that are... So definitely like interesting.
also this is going to be very like square so this i want to uh be coming out further so the side here we can kind of like slope out more which is kind of nice we'll just kind of like mess with this a little bit like we're not landing on like how this is gonna look but it can go further out especially for trying to like round out what i made like this squareness <laughs> So we're probably going to have to like round out this middle bit here. We're going to have to round out this bit on this side bit. But like if we look at how this looks, right? Like this looks very natural. So I just want to like kind of do the same thing, which is like a block and it goes down, you know, kind of like that. So we're just going to try to do that as well. But it's going to be a slower process because this is a giant mountain. And I want to make sure like it looks like a natural, like slow drop, you know, like nothing too crazy. So it just takes time. But yeah, so that was the uh, interesting things I found in my world. But I'm uh, just going to be quiet for a little bit and let you guys enjoy just the, the ASMR sounds of me placing some blocks. And I'm going to focus on getting this done and terraformed.
there are two of these zombies, but I'm hoping that the other one doesn't know how to get to me. But I think this is looking a lot better already, and we're not even done. Like, we're still going to be obviously adding some bone meal to make this look a little bit better, but just this shape coming together on this side of things already looks way better, and I do think I'm really happy with choosing moss. Uh, this is the only bit of moss we have left, so we are very, very low on the moss, so I don't have a whole lot more that I can do, but I think we're going to for sure get just this little bit done over here, and then we'll go around and bone meal it, and we might go collect a little bit more, but for the most part, I think we'll just check our chests that we have, and then I think this is going to just be good, and then we're going to go check on what we have for how much, uh, like seeds that we have collected. Where's the, okay, I'm literally like right below the zone that I need to add. But I'm, I'm really happy that we finally are getting this done. This has been a, a looming over my head type of project. So it's very nice to just be able to like hang out, get this done, chat with you guys, and feel like we're gonna like get things done, you know? And I also need my coal to be fortune so we're just going to do that really quick seeing how this is going to transform from what it was into a more put together place is literally going to be like the best feeling ever i'm actually like very excited for that just to kind of see it change you know it's it's going to be great i already feel like this is a huge improvement we just got to make sure we keep uh, adding torches in here and there's a lot of this like extra moss that doesn't need to be in here. Like obviously some of these blocks do need to stay here just for the sake of like getting uh, the shape that we need and everything. But a lot of these don't need to be here, which is what I'm trying to like figure out. Like where are the blocks that I can remove and they are not going to like change things, right? Because then we can get some of our moss back to keep working on the project. But let's, uh, let's put that there. And then let's see how this looks already. So I think we want to kind of like pull this and we'll do one here and then the rest will like div it in right here. Okay. I also really enjoy these more like terraforming projects because I wouldn't say I'm like the best terraformer by any means, but doing projects like this like make me have to try harder, try different things, different methods, like all of that. And I really enjoy just the challenge of it. It's something new that I haven't really like tried to do much before. And I think it's really good to just like try new things, right? So like this spot needs to get fixed as well. Okay, and then we're gonna do a little fly around. Oh yeah, already so much better. It is a still like a little boxy, especially on this side over here. Um, it's definitely boxy. Like, no doubt it's pretty boxy right here, but I think we can fix this section right here. And we're just gonna put moss down over this side of it. We're already on to our last bits of moss, so we need to be wise with our moss. But I'm very glad that we're getting this done. I keep on saying it, but literally, like, these kinds of projects where just, like, it takes time, but it looks so much better when you're done with it. Like, the projects are always worth it, but they're the ones that I, like, never actually want to do. Like, I honestly was not looking forward to having to do this project, but just being able to kind of, like, chat and, like, work on this and, like, know that I'm getting it done. Like, you guys get to enjoy, like, hanging out with me, getting your projects done. Like, maybe you're working on some projects in your Minecraft world or in something different, like a different project that you're just not excited to like have to work on, but you know it needs to be done. So hopefully uh, we can work on those projects together, you know, like make it a little bit easier because this is definitely a lot easier to just like 
be chatting along the way, getting it done, obviously like exploring. I always like to do a little bit of exploring to kind of take a break from the projects I'm not like as big a fan of. So if you're ever working on a project and you're just like, man, like this is, I'm struggling, this is like hard right now, just like take a little bit of a break, right? Like we went mining and exploring for a bit and came back to the two projects that aren't exactly like the most cozy or cute, but they needed to get done in our area to keep making it look pretty and to keep it looking how we want it to look, right? So like the things needed to happen and we are getting them done and I'm just, it just makes it a lot easier, you know? So make sure if you're doing projects that you're not the most thrilled to be doing, take breaks, it makes it easier and then you're able to just keep working on it and it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's as hard. So I would definitely suggest to always take the breaks when you need to, to just kind of reset. I'm also trying to like reshape some of these things to feel like it fits a bit better. Okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm okay if it looks like a little bit like mounded, different shaped, because the, the mountains are never going to look perfect, right? They're purposefully going to look a little bit funky, and obviously this torch spam we will replace. We will find the areas where we can fit in uh, the like moss carpet over the little uh, candle, like little torches. But for now, like this is already looking way better than it has. I'm very happy with the progress. Just gotta keep on making it look good and we'll be in a much better place. Okay, awesome. So this side looks really, really good. This is the side that needs the work and obviously the, this back side needs the work as well. So I think because we're literally on our last like stack and a half, I kind of want to do a little bit of the work over here and um, probably fix that little hole there. So let's fix that little bit of a hole quickly. We just have to find it. So we're just gonna get a really wide fly zone and make our way over to this spot that we wanted to fill. Meow. There we go, okay. All right, so now let's do a little bit of work over here. We don't have much moss left, but for, with what we got done, like I'm very happy. Like this already looks 10 million times better. And we're just gonna carve this back with some of our moss and our dirt, just to make it a little bit easier to I'm also so curious to see like how many seeds do we have at this point like we've been working directly above our sniffers so they have to be in render distance right they like have to be starting to get like a decent amount collected up right like that's fun that's also exciting it's kind of like a little reward for getting this done as well as kind of like how i want to think about it which also makes it a really fun little project to be working on because we know it's going to look so, so good when we're all done, which is very exciting. Okay. Then we'll add two right there to like round it out a little bit. And then over here. Ooh, we're on our last 30. Oh, so sad. But you know, collecting moss is actually very relaxing. So I'm, I'm fine needing to go and get more for later projects. But today I just wanted to get progress made on those these two things and we definitely made progress on both. I'm very happy with the progress we have. Oh, 
And I guess uh, with that little bit that we just did, we're uh, officially out of moss. So let's take a little look-see. Ah, <sighs> yep, already looking way better. And I think we're gonna first check our chests. We're just gonna make sure that if we have any leftover moss in any of our little spots that we can pull those into the area. So I'm just gonna grab all of these things I don't really need in here right now. Okay, so let's go and see if we had any moss in these chests over here. And we're going to check to see once we come back how much we have left in our, uh, or how many seeds we have. So let's go check in our starter house chests. Oh, there's a wild kitty cat. Hello. Hope you're doing good. Also, we have like one boat with two here we have one boat with two here and like i'm sure if i just kept putting boats down we would just keep collecting them which you know the ocelots are cute but i can't really do a lot with them Ooh, okay we've got we're able to go a little bit longer did i put any in here three whole masses my my okay now we're gonna check our other actually let's take a nap quick i don't want the monsters coming around and i'm gonna end my little replay recording but we're going to see if in our like main storage room if we have any of the moss but once we have these stacks gone through we're going to call it and then we're going to see the final drum roll the final count of how many little little seeds we got from our sniffer friends which is very exciting i'm hyped for that all right, now I just have to remember, um, 21 moss, not too bad. Okay, so we've got like a stack and 40, so that'll get us a little bit further. I'm happy with that. Okay, so let's, oh yeah, this already, whew, I almost hit my head and we're going to quickly go back in here. I have bone meal that I want to grab. I think that'll be very helpful. And let's just grab these. The bones I want to keep just in case we come across any, uh, like, dogs along the way. But we're going to quickly just finish up with the moss on this side. And then we're going to bone meal it. And literally just bone mealing it is going to just make it ten times better. So that's the part I'm also excited for. But I'm going to replay this as well so we can see how it looks. Oh yeah, this is going to look so good. I really, uh, the one thing that I really don't like about living in our little bamboo jungle is how much of this podzol stuff we have to deal with so much of the podzol. I wish we uh, had an easier way to like transform it so it doesn't look as like ugly because I'm not really a fan of it um, at all. Oh, we're in the sniffer area. Oops, sorry guys. Didn't mean to tear your uh, your ceiling apart. That is my bad. Uh, carry on. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. <laughs> go perfect and in case we get monsters trying to spawn in there okay I like it so far we'll just add one down there okay Now, if I can just kind of like round this out, that would be perfect. So what we're gonna do is go like so. <laughs> the little snippers, you can hear them. I'm also gonna get rid of this little log here. Perfect. 
Yeah, that looks way better just to cover that. Oi, yes, love it. Okay, so much better. Literally, what a difference. What a difference a little bit of moss makes. And this is our last piece of moss. Pretty crazy. So that's all we had, but this already looks way, way better. But now the funnest part of all of this whole thing is we're going to bone meal this entire thing. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of what it looks like before we bone meal it. Cause I, like I was saying earlier, I really enjoyed the before and afters of things. And let's put a, let's put a torch here just to keep us safe, but okay. Let's start bone mealing. Ooh, and we can kind of like bone meal this and hopefully we can get some like things growing around here. Okay, so we'll bone meal this, bone meal the top of this. Actually, let's start at the top. I feel like starting at the top is gonna be like much easier. Ooh. That was a little chaotic. I'm on a vine, aren't I? I'm on a vine. Excuse you, vine. Okay. That was a very chaotic attempt to like quickly whip around. Okay. So if we just start up here, this will be much easier. Because then we can just see everything kind of like change, right? Like we can see from the top. And then we also get to make this area look a little bit better. Um, can I figure out a way to make this look nice again? It's also good that we're checking because we can fix any holes that there might be appearing. We'll just bone meal some of this down here as well. Okay, bone meal some of these tops. What's nice about bone mealing the moss is I just need to be able to like touch the top of it. Ooh, hey. I kind of like the idea of having some of this down here. Well, not that much. That, that took over more than I expected. But I just need to be able to like touch the tops of these and it already starts to make it look a little bit better. Okay, how's this looking if I go back? Oh yeah, it's already so much better. We just need to get some in this area right there. Okay, oh, where am I? Oh, hi, I'm hanging out with the torch. Hello, uh, too funny. Well, at least I can get these things from up here. Um, was this the spot that I was missing? Yeah, that was the only spot that I like needed to grab. Cool, okay, well that's perfect. We got a lot pro of progress done on this. Love that. It's always nice to be able to try to like grow up the, the moss around the area where we're working. All right, look at that. Already so, so much better. I'm so happy about it. And we're just gonna get rid of some of these guys. What's nice is I can just kind of like take some of this gross podzol, and if I just have bone meal nearby what I'm trying to change, I should be able to just kind of change some of it into the blocks that I want it to be, which is great. There we go. Okay. Awesome. 
already so, so much better. Oh man, this feels like a relief, like so much better already. Love it. Look at that. So much prettier from a distance. <gasps> oh, yay. I'm so happy. Okay, let's go check on our sniffers and see how many seeds we got. And again, if you guys have any better recommendations on how to kind of do some of the, the side bits that I was trying to get done, uh, let me know. I probably am doing it very strangely. Okay. Oh, it's going that way. We'll see how many seeds we get. They should only be able to, like, make their seeds over there. I just have the issue of, like, I need access to that that specific chest, and I don't think I have access to that right now. Okay. And here we go. Well, we didn't get a whole lot. I got four pitcher pods and two torch flower seeds, but you know... That is two more torch flowers and four more pitcher pods than I had before. So I'm honestly okay with it. Like I have some of these, they're just all hanging out. Like we already have some, so we can like already be kind of putting some together. Why are you all right here? Oh, um, you're not supposed to be climbing those. You do know that, right? Okay. So let's plant some of these guys. I think you're ready and ripe. Ripe for picking. This is like a like a fruit. Well, it's ripe. Okay. And then we're going to plant some over here as well. So we have so many extras. See, I'm already so happy about how many we're like actually being able to like grow up now. Like that is wonderful. I'm super happy about that. Lots of new little flowers. We've got way more torch flowers than I've had in the past. So that's super fun. And what's also cool is we can like plant these outside where we've been like picking them up from, right? Like we can plant these alongside the hillside, which I think will be very cool to just have some of these like torch flowers because this is kind of like the, uh, the sniffer like place right like we have so many of these seeds that me just like planting them throughout like is gonna make it look so cool and so much better so like i think it's like a great idea to just be able to like have more in here so we can just add some of course i do need to add more torches just to be sure nothing else spawns but i do just like the idea of adding in some of the torch flowers just around the edges like that. Like it's going to be very like small amounts. Oh, there's a spider. Let's uh, take a nap quickly. Let's take a nap quickly before any more bad guys come out. And then we can plant some at the top here as well. Okay. Yeah, we didn't have any more moss in there. So we did end up using up all of our moss, which I'm good with. Okay. I'm just gonna plant down some of these little torch flowers and these little pitcher plants as well. Hi spider, how are you? Cause I just think it's cool that we can use them like this now. And we'll put one right there. We'll put one right there kind of just fun to sprinkle them okay and then we'll sprinkle some of them over here as well let's maybe put one right here one right there and we have one torch flower one left and then let's do another pitcher pod one Let's do one right around here. Okay, perfect. And there we go. Oh, I love it. Look at that mountain. It looks so much better if I come over here. Look at that. <gasps> wow. Okay, so much better than what it was. Obviously, we're going to remove the torches, but that looks... 1,000 times better than what we had, like, oh, 
so much better but i think on this note we are going to call it here thank you so much for hanging with me as i work on my little sniffer seed collection system and as we kind of terraform this mountain to well not look like a flat square but if you enjoyed hanging out with me in this long play don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you want more of my content more of these long plays and more in this world and i hope you have a wonderful day